Good morning. As we come up to Christmas these last three days, I'm going to send three little thoughts to you concerning what I'm calling the misunderstood gospel of grace. I've found still today that so many mix up grace with the law, with their desire to do right and do well for God. And they end up often walking in levels of condemnation or guilt that the world just doesn't relate to. They don't want to have the life we have. One of the problems is that we think that we have to repent before the goodness of God is shown, when it's actually the goodness of God first, when you feel undeserving, that leads you to the word is repent, but really it's change your mind, which is a far more helpful phrase for us to use. Let me give you a very simple example of that today. There was a woman, you'll probably know the story. She was caught in the act of adultery by these very self-righteous religious leaders. And they brought her to Jesus and they said, uh, you know, the law says to stone her, which it did. What are you going to do? He says, whoever's uh, got no sin, you can throw the first stone. And one by one, they disappear. And then she's left with him. And he says, so well, where are your condemners? And she says, they're gone, Lord. Who's condemning you? No one. And then he says these words, neither do I condemn you. So before he's given any kind of instruction about how she should live, he has shown complete forgiveness and kindness and approval and embracing. Not only does he not stone her, he completely overlooks it. That is the goodness of God.